This is the Awakening Word brought to you by Rev. Samson Ajitomobi, the President of the Men of Isaka Vision Incorporated and Overseer of the Redemption Faith Churches. So when I say to you most time, nothing encourages a man like answers to prayer. It's an amazing truth. And I'm sure today you will experience answers to prayer. Reverend Ajitomobi is called by God with a mandate to reach the unreached at all costs and reawaken the church to our responsibilities. Every gallows the enemy have set up, by the word of God today, they will go into the same pits. Be blessed. I like to read from Proverbs chapter 4, verse 18 and verse 19. And we'll look at these two verses, and then I will tell you the story before verse 18. The Bible says, But the path of the just is as the shining light that shineth more and more unto the perfect day. But the path of the just is like a shining light that shineth more and more unto the perfect day. Verse 19. It says the way of the wicked is as darkness. They know not at what they stumble. I believe you will run this year with more certainty and with less guesses. With less permutations and trying to see if this, if I add this, it add that. No. God will give you a sense of certainty and there will be definitely around your life. Looking at these very interesting and common scriptures, the word but, in verse 18 of Proverbs chapter 4, the word but raised some question. Both the part of the just. For our time, it will be good enough to read what's been happening before. And he was counseling with us that there are wicked men who will never sleep until they do evil. That's verse 16. Except they have done evil and their sleep is taken away unless they cause some to fail. That's one of the first prayers I'd like to pray with you today. That everyone will rejoice to sustain pain around you. This year they will bow to you. So he talk about the wicked men, how they never sleep until they do evil. They never find any good sleep until they have caused someone to fall. And every system kept in place to make you fall this year, we fail. They will not be effective and all the network will be dismantled by the presence of the Lord. So they cause you to fall. Verse 17, it says, For they eat the bread of wickedness. You see them living big, living oppressive, born out of wicked life. They eat bread whose proceed is out of wicked living. And they drink wine of violence. To kill for them is normal. To waste their neighbor's destiny is normal life. To enchant and cause divinations to manipulate and confuse and trouble lives and family, that is what gives them excitement. But they will not last. That's what the Bible says, envy not the wicked when they prosper in their way, for suddenly they will be cut off. And I stand strong to declare that the troublers of our nation will be cut off suddenly. Whosoever brought us to this season of trauma in our world, in our nation, God himself will judge them. Now, having said the lifestyle of the wicked, here the scripture is talking about another lifestyle and it began down with the word, but... So while others live wickedly to survive, to oppress, and to find gains done out of bloodshed and wicked dealing, the Bible says, 
birth, there is a group of people who will be in the same community, in the same nation, in the same city, but they will have a different testimony because they choose the path of life. But the path of the just, a just man is a man who runs his life with fairness, with justice, and with equity. He's a just man. He is fair in his assessment. He, is, he exhibits justice in all life on the ticket. He does not oppress the poor or take advantage of the weak. But the path of the just in the same city, the same nation, the same economic oversight and the same political oversight in the same place, the just shall be a shining light that shineth more and more the just, the man who live right, the man who think right, the man who live each day with a sense of fairness and justice, the man who cares for the oppressed, the one who cares for the needy shall become a shining light. Few thought, what does light do? Number one, light is a revealer of dark places. When light is available, darkness will naturally submit. Light reveals what is in dark places. Anytime the light shines. That's why when you find a man who lived in, in, with a sense of justice and fairness in a workplace, he has so many enemies because he will not cover up the games. So his life is threatened. But no time has darkness ever defeated light. Darkness will naturally submit to light. So if you live justly this year, and you live with fairness this year, and you care for the poor and the oppressed in this year, then your life will become a light. A light for the hopeless. A light for the distress. A light for the oppressed. A light to bring hope to the hopeless. It shall become a light. Now, it doesn't matter your type of light. Either it's a light of a lamp or a light of a touch light or headlight or a floodlight, or even the light of a stick of a matches. One of the truths of light, in whichever capacity and form it appears, is that light, when it is on, will expose darkness. And that's my prayer for you today, that every act of darkness around you will be exposed by the light of God. But he the, he said, but the path of the just is as the shining light. So this year, shine as light in your given community. Shine as light in the workplace. Shine as light in the community where you live. Shine as light in the church where you worship. Let me look at you and find out that you care for the distress, you dare, you undertake for the poor and you help the helpless and you lighten the heart of men, bringing joy to their souls. Especially in the nation we had found ourselves. We need a lot of synergy, working together, cooperating together because the power of two is stronger than the power of one. So light is very essential. Now the beauty of this is that this light will keep shining. And that's my prayer for you. 
that your light will not go deep. You will not lost your light. He said, the light shineth. It keeps shining continually. It shineth and shine more and more. That's our trust growing from where you are to the next level. Shine it more and more. Growing capacity. Growing strength. Growing wisdom. More and more wisdom. More and more skill. The light shine it. Another word for light in Daniel chapter 5 is the word understanding. When there is light, you can solve hard matters. That's Daniel chapter 5, verse 11 and verse 12. Daniel chapter 5, verse 11 and verse 12. Say, there is a man in thy kingdom in whom is the spirit of the holy gods. And in the days of thy father, light and understanding and wisdom, like the wisdom of the gods, was found in him. Whom the king Nebuchadnezzar, thy father, the king, I say, thy father, made master of the magicians, astrologers, Chaldeans, and soothsayers. Verse 12. For as much as an excellent spirit and knowledge and understanding, interpreting dreams and showing of hard sentences, and dissolving of doubts were found in the same Daniel, whom the king named Belshazzar, now let Daniel be called, and he will shew the interpretation. Amen. This is great wisdom of shining as lights. Shining as lights. Daniel was a good example. In verse 11, Bible talk about Daniel that he is one man in the kingdom. While the wicked men are doing wickedly, there is a man in the kingdom. That's my prayer that by your life this year, you will be a reference of conscience. When people gather around to do evil, they will say there is a man in this establishment. There is a man in this community. There is a man in this workplace. That man has the spirit of God in him. Light and understanding and wisdom. Like the wisdom of the God was found in him. I'd like you to pray that for your life today. That you will have light. You will have understanding. You will have wisdom. In everything you do, you will display light, you will display understanding, you will display wisdom. Why are some marriages failing today? Is it because God didn't bring them together? God brought them together, but there is lack of wisdom. There is no light. There is no understanding in either of the spouse. And when there's no understanding, you struggle in dark places. And when you try to run in a dark place, the chances of stumbling is very high. I pray this year you will not stumble. You will not fall apart. And you will not fall backward. There was light in this Daniel. And the light made him to be stronger than all the magicians, all the astrologers, all the soothsayers, and all the Chaldeans. In other words, this is a summary of men who work in dark places. All men who labor with strange spirit. By the light you will display this year, they will bow before you. So it's all the magicians, all the astrologers, the diviners, the stargazers, the soothsayers. We've just begun the year and you are expected to hear all manner of prophecy either from God or from where and the heart of men is failing them. 
It is the devil I know that operates by the spirit of fear. And today, so much is being painted to scare everyone and even some people already dead before the actual death shows up. For fear. You will not spend your life in fear. The Bible says fear has torment. Fear has torment. And I see a lot of people moving around as tormented. Just a doctor's report and say we have we can't confirm yet, but everything looks like you're already collapsing and dying for fear. Lift up your hands if you don't mind. I rebook the spirit of fear. For God has not given us the spirit of fear, so we reject what God has not given. We rather receive the spirit of God's power, God's love. And sound mind. Every affliction can be conquered by soundness of mind. Your mind will be sound. Your understanding of your body will be sound. You will keep a correct mind. You will not live your life in fear. And you will not bow to the enemy. In the name of Jesus. All the magicians submitted to Daniel. Because there was light accessible to him. He has light. He has understanding. And the beauty of this light that we're talking about is that Daniel could solve hard matters. In verse 12 of Daniel chapter 5, the Bible says, this Daniel could interpret dreams, could read clearly the handwritings on the wall. He could dissolve doubts. There are many things that is making us to doubt. When you have light in you, you will dissolve doubts. You will dissolve doubt. When the light keeps shining more and more, every doubt that surrounds you will be dissolved. Dissolve doubt. He will deal with hard sentences, things, life riddles, Difficult to be solved. When the light of God is accessible to your spirit, you will solve hard matters. Things that look like no way out, there will be a way out. Because by his light, you will be able to solve hard matters. Back in Proverbs chapter 4 verse 18, it says, But the path of the just is as the shining light. The path of a just man is best described as assessing light. He said that light shineth continually, shineth more and more, more and more. When lights increase consistently around you, and is shining more and more, then there will be less of darkness. More and more light, less and less darkness. More and more darkness, less and less of light. So it's a choice. When you choose to embrace the path of a just and live righteous, you begin to walk in an ordered step of gaining more light, more illumination, more understanding, more strength from one dimension to another dimension until your light grows big like a floor light. And when you come on, nothing is hidden, nothing is dark because the light shineth in darkness. And the darkness could not comprehend it. More and more light this year. More and more light as you journey in this week. More and more light. More understanding. More strength. And you'll be able to solve hard matters. You'll be able to dissolve doubts. And in charge of all the Chaldeans, all the soothsayers, all the herbalists. By the light you carry, you will be in charge of them. 
Say, so let nobody in his business drive this year be afraid of men of the occult if you are in the light. They also know that men who are in the light terrifies them, even without speaking. Everywhere you enter this year, may your light shine. So there is nothing to fear. So, is an occultic man, he has done something to that chair. Oh, I need to do 40 day fast. Listen to me. When you are in the light, as you fast and pray, your light can only get stronger. Your light can only intensify in, 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 in capacity and drive and intensity. More and more light implies less and less darkness. More and more light implies more and more power. More and more light implies more and more understanding. Understanding yourself, understanding your spouse, understanding people around you, understanding your business drive, understanding the best strategy to be who God wants you to be this year. More and more light means dissolving Hard life sentences. That's what it implies. When you have more and more light, you can solve life issues. I don't know what you are going through. I don't know what is overwhelming you. But I guarantee you, if you embrace more light, you will see that the doubts around you will dissolve. You see that all the challenges around you will dissolve. Because light exposes darkness. Light exposes darkness. So, but the path of the just is as the shining light that shineth more and more unto the perfect day. The word perfect day means the day when all things will be concluded. And I'm so persuaded that by the grace of God, Every riddles around your life, the perfect day will come very shortly this year. So that all the riddles around you can be resolved. Can be resolved. And you can have a better life. And you can say, now I have rest on every side. Because the light shineth more and more. More and more. Unto the perfect day. Unto that day when everything is resolved. So there's nothing to fear anymore. And this is where I'd like you to take home a few thoughts. Thoughts number one. Do not envy the wicked when they seem to prosper in their own way. For suddenly they will be cut off. Thought number two. Pray about everything. As if all you need to do and live on is prayer. And if God strengthens you, add fasting to it. Number three, learn to hate what God hates this year. Be a just man. Be a righteous man. Stand strong in uprightness. Thought number four, Choose to shine. Don't cover your light with a bushel. Put the light on a table for everybody to see that there is a light in this house. There is a light man in this office. There is a light woman in this home. There is a light bearer here. Don't keep the light under the bushel. Thought number five. Shine the light. Shine the light. You can't ignore the brightness of a true light. Even if you ignore it and pretend, it will expose you. It will show where you are. Shine the light. In your office this year, shine the light. In your community, shine the light. Wherever you find yourself, shine the light. Shine the light. Shine the light. It makes all the difference. Thought number six. The more you shine the light, 
the more God fuel you to shine more. So you become shining more and more. Because God will always replenish every energy that is dispensed. You keep shining more and more. More and more. And the more you shine, the more you dissolve doubts. The more you shine, the more you solve hard sentences. That life is about riddles. There are so many riddles around people's life. And when the riddles are there, they will do everything they know how to do, yet the problem will just not be solved. But when you shine more and more, life riddles get dissolved. We trust that you've been blessed by this message preached by Reverend Samson Ajitomobi of the Men of Isaka Vision Incorporated. We invite you to worship with us every Sunday at 9 a.m. and 5 p.m. every Tuesday and Thursday at the Men of Isaka Vision Incorporated, Oloruru Ojo Ibadan. Or watch our services online via the Men of Isaka Vision Facebook page and YouTube channel. You can also listen to us on MIVradio.com. For inquiries, please call 0808-085-4818 or send an email to mivmandate2010 at gmail.com. God bless you.